Ah, God. It's not even morning. See, it's, the time is 3. The time is 3 p.m. And these chickens, they are there doing kukuruku. If it was morning, I would have said, okay, they are trying to wake us up. But it's not even morning. Where was I? welcome back to my channel i'm timmy banjo if it's your first time here welcome i'm sure you're wondering who has this pretty face my name is timmy and i make content in Lagos, nigeria around weight loss diet food and so on and so forth so today we're going to be talking about weight loss mistakes some that i have made countless times and some of you guys are doing it right now and a wise man once said people learn from mistakes but a wise man learn from other people's experiences so you do not have to make this mistake if you are not even on a weight loss journey i am here to share my own experiences and also how to help you get by these mistakes so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching all right guys so before we start please please and please eh, ignore that chicken screaming in the background i'm going to fry that chicken very soon please ignore anyways please i'd like you guys to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and you guys please speak to me in the comment section especially be, especially about the videos you would like me to film because the interaction you know the feedback i'm getting on my views is kind of discouraging so if you guys will let me know what you really want to see i can't keep on trying new stuff all the time trying to see which one picks up just let me know what you guys want to see and you know i'm up to the task i will put it together all right let's jump into today's information so the first and foremost thing which is the most important one is consistency first of all it might be that you lack consistency sometimes some people do weight loss um, programs for like one week and they're expecting a drastic change like yeah expect some people eat healthy for one day and they're expecting to lose weight the next day it's not magic you have to do this thing with your mind and you have to be consistent in it you have to be dedicated with it you have to like project a long-term plan that is why it's very important for you to choose diets that you can do long term you know diets that are sustainable diets that you can continue going on with even when you go on a holiday you can easily find your food to eat when you're at a party you can find your healthy options to eat so you need to be consistent in your diet program make sure you continue to see difference and in order not to go back mm, to how you were before continue so you need to be consistent with your weight loss program next is the fact that you do not have a routine you don't fast you do not have a diet plan you don't exercise nothing nada so how is that going to happen you need to make a routine of how you know you want to eat your food how you intend to lose that weight you cannot just be going and be hoping that oh I will lose this weight someday to drop somehow some way you have to be consciously conscious that weight will not go anywhere so you need to make a diet plan you need to plan your intermittent fasting window and you need to do your exercise it could be two times a week two times a week is fine especially if you are really consistent with the two times a week go hard those two days you go to the gym try and put in your best try and put in all your energy into those two days and you'll be sure to see a difference in it so please make a routine make a meal plan make a food timetable open a window where you will fast open a window or like open and close the window where you fast and where you stop eating all that stuff or where you start eating rather all that stuff is what i mean by have a routine so you need to have a routine whereby you will plan all those things fasting exercise and your diet so if you are doing all these things that means you have to be disciplined so if you are going to be you know doing the intermittent fasting keeping to your diet keeping to your exercise t um, timetable you need to be disciplined which brings us to our next point which is discipline you need to show so much enthusiasm in your work yeah, your weight loss program has to make you happy because you'll just be suffering yourself you'll be eating what you don't like and you know you'll be suffering there's no joy in it you have to be happy that brings us to how discipline will help you achieve that goal you have to be disciplined with yourself like tell 
yourself what you are meant to eat when you are meant to eat it and tell yourself what you are not meant to eat no matter what the circumstance may be you are not going to touch it you are not going to have that down your throat also your exercise must be complete push yourself there are days where i do not want to go to the gym all i have to do is just you know wear my gym wear my gym outfit and the rest work the rest of the work is done so once i just in my mind if i do not have a plan to go to the gym i know all i have to do is just put on my clothes and you know the many work is done there's no how i get to the gym and i won't do anything it's it has hardly ever happened i think maybe twice since i started going to the gym that i'll just go there and maybe sit or not do anything but i'm saying you need to be disciplined you need to push yourself do not eat when you are not meant to eat do not eat what you are not meant to eat push yourself go out on your exercise plan and make sure you keep to your diet okay all right this next one here i am guilty of it you keep getting lost in your cheat days or your cheat day hmm. me i keep saying don't turn your cheat day into a cheat days don't turn your cheat days into a cheat week i don't turn your cheat week into a cheat month i turn my cheat day into days hmm. i've turned my cheat week into two weeks before but it hasn't passed two weeks before so when you say oh it's my cheat day today let me tell you a secret that thing that you are eating under your cheat day is not going to alter your progress it is what you do after your cheat day that is going to um, determine what will alter your progress if you are going to continue cheating or you are going to get back on track so please and please do not turn your cheat day into cheat days oh my god this chicken mm. Do not turn your cheat week into cheat weeks or cheat months. This is, oh my God, this is very, very important because the accumulation of all the junk food, all the unhealthy food you are eating is going to alter your progress back to square one. It's going to alter your progress. Like if you've taken two steps forward, you're going to be taking five steps backward, almost to where you just started from, and it might be discouraging. So please and please try not to turn your cheat day into, you know, cheat days. Make sure you get back on track once you are done with your cheat day. Also, you need to drink enough water. Always stay hydrated every single time. You can even put apple cider vinegar, cucumber, a mint leaf you know the detox water how to make the detox water all those things you can put that in your water and take that throughout the day also you need to take water because of your metabolism this age with your metabolism if you want to see a very detailed video about how to you know fast track your metabolism and you know kickstart a slow metabolism make sure you check this video up here i'm going to leave in the card make sure you check out that video on how to you know boost your metabolism water is very important if you want your food to quickly digest also it is important for you to drink water oh, God. it's not even morning see is the time is 3 3 p.m hmm? the time is 3 p.m and these chickens that they are doing kukuruku if it was morning i would have said okay they are trying to wake us up but it's not even morning where was i also try to drink water before you have your meal about 10 minutes before your meal that already that already helps your stomach expand and by the time you eat you get full faster so it gives your brain like it, it makes your brain to think you are already full because you're actually already full but half of what is in your stomach is water half of what is in your stomach the remaining half of what's in your stomach is your food that way you will oh, that way you wouldn't be eating too much so, so instead of the whole food to just expand your stomach water has done the expanding for you and you wouldn't be eating too much also drink water as you eat because it aids um, digestion it aids a quick metabolism and so on and so forth just to keep yourself hydrated and also aid your weight loss
last but not the least which i always keep hammering on which sounds like something that is not really important but it is very 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 and extremely important is track your progress i cannot emphasize on how much the importance of tracking your progress is let me tell you why you should actually track your progress I'm going to use myself as an instance there are some times or like a month where I was serious with my weight loss I was really really serious eating healthy going to the gym five times a week doing this doing that and um, obviously there was progress I tracked it and you know the coming month I did that same thing and the progress was not like the other months I will go back to see how exactly i did that routine that made me see that kind of result so that's why it's important for you to track your progress so that you know what exactly you ate what you did as per exercise to attain progress and the and vice versa to know what you ate and what you did that made you to see zero results so you'll be able to emulate the ones that you know made you see progress that is just the whole idea behind tracking your progress to make you see the one the english is out to make you see the things that will make you see progress or to make you see the things that will make you see a a decline in your weight loss program i hope that is understood so make sure you track your progress try and track what you eat try and track the weight loss programs you are doing if it's cardio if it's heat if it's lifting if it is um if it is just walking try and track everything it is so that brings us to the end of this video and guys please do not forget to you know interact with me in the comment section let me know the videos you would like to see i'm pleading okay please let me know the videos you would like to see in my, in the comment section down below because i need to start creating content you guys would love to see i cannot be con creating content for myself okay so that brings us to the end of this video like i said earlier if you did enjoy this video which you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed also Feel free to check out my videos, which will pop up on your screen here and here. And have we see you in the next one? You are about to click on. All right, let's go.